the Countess of Wessex paid a special visit to a place very close to her heart on Wednesday afternoon. Sophie went to shooting star Chase Hospice in Hampton, where she spent time talking to children with life-limiting conditions and their families, all of whom are supported by the charity. Arriving at the newly refurbished building at 2.30 p.m., the Countess joined in the activities on offer straight away. Her visit included biscuit decorating and HRH read a story called That's Not My Princess to the Young Patients. Sophie also chatted to four-year-old Albie Barton and his dad Daniel. Albie has hyperglycemia, cardiomyopathy, and other specified congenital malformation syndromes, and has been coming to the hospice for two years. We didn't realize how stressful the environment was until it was made a bit lighter, Daniel said of how the hospice has changed things for them. Before the Countess depart, she also made a short speech to the nurses and care staff who work at the hospice, saying, Thank you for what you do in looking after these wonderful and beautiful children. The care and love that you show to every single child who comes through the door is immeasurable. You are their family when they're here. The parents trust you completely with their children and no price can be put on that. And to all of the people who are helping to fund this amazing organization, thank you. It's a very special place and I know that many families couldn't survive without shooting star children's hospices. Jenny, mom of three-year-old Gwen who is living with Spina Bivita, said, It's been a lovely afternoon. Gwen thoroughly enjoyed meeting a real-life princess. Gwen decorated a biscuit with a countess, which is a special memory that we as a family will be able to treasure. When you have a child with a life-limiting condition it's lovely to be able to do things like this because life can be hard sometimes, and these sorts of things make you realize that you're not alone. The support that we get from the charity is just brilliant. CEO of Shooting Star Children's Hospices, Nigel Harding said he thought the visit was incredibly informal. He added, it also, I think, was a very emotional visit for Her Royal Highness. She met some of the families that are suffering from some really tragic conditions and was so supportive. And certainly didn't rush her visit and spent so much time with each of the families. Sophie is royal patron of Shooting Star Children's Hospices and officially opened the charity's Guildford Hospice, Christopher's, in 2002. The Countess has continued to support the charity with regular visits to both hospices and recently hosted a special reception at Buckingham Palace for the charity. Last month a source claimed Sophie, the Queen's long-term favorite, is set to take on more royal responsibility and represent Her Majesty, 93, at more engagements after Prince Harry, 35, and Meghan Markle's decision to step back from the royal family. She married the Queen's youngest son. Prince Edward in 1999 and the couple share daughter Lady Louise Windsor, 16, and James, Viscount Severn, who is 12. Their path to parenthood wasn't the smoothest as Louise was born prematurely via an emergency caesarean section. She also suffered from exotropia, a condition which turns the eyes outwards. Fortunately, Louise can now see normally following various operations. Sophie Countess of Wessex, will celebrate 21 years of marriage to Prince Edward, the Queen's youngest son, this year. But Sophie and Edward, who are both 55, won't be spending Valentine's Day together this year. The Countess of Wessex will be abroad, according to the royal family's future engagements schedule. Sophie will be in Germany on February 14, although there are no further details as to the purpose of her visit. Sophie's diary then remains clear for her children's half-term break until February 26, when she will attend a reception at St. James's Palace for the International Agency for the Prevention of Blindness in her role as Global Ambassador.